Hello well wishers and welcome to my channel Aspiring Minds. In today's video we are going to do the line by line meaning and detailed analysis of Act 1 Scene 6. So without much ado, let's get started. So in this scene we will see the much awaited event of the play that is the arrival of King Duncan in Macbeth's house. Along with that we will also see the interaction that takes place between King Duncan and Lady Macbeth and how she grandly welcomes the king. Now at this time when King Duncan enters along with his men the first impression that he has on entering the house of King Duncan is he says that the situation of the castle is very good it is at a very pleasant and convenient place and he says that the moment i have entered this castle i feel that my senses my inner self i get a very soothing and fresh feeling and the air that i'm smelling over here seems to be very sweet so to this banco adds the bird named martlet it often visits us in summer and it has been observed that that bird often builds his nest in this castle of their even though he has tried building his nest in the past in other places in different places but he has always found this castle to be a favorable place not just to build his nest and stay himself but it is also a safe place for that bird to hatch its eggs therefore it's a kind of an assurance that banco is giving to duncan that if a bird who is an innocent creature of nature feels so safe and is able to you know hatch its offspring over here you too can be rest assured that indeed this place is very carefully planned it's a very pleasant place and it ensures the safety of people as well as elements of nature like the birds now just as duncan and banco were having a conversation lady macbeth enters to this duncan says that look look the honored hostess that is lady macbeth has come just as he saying that often he it has been observed by duncan that when he gets too much of love from his followers it troubles him because he feels that he has not been able to return the pains taken by his followers properly right he has not been able to sufficiently reward his followers for you know loving and caring for him so much so to this lady macbeth says that i think you are under overrating what you are saying because if all that macbeth and lady macbeth as true honest loyal followers of duncan can do twice and still again repeat it further twice it will still be less for the great honors that have been conferred on macbeth and lady macbeth their family by king duncan and so she says that they are going to be forever grateful to king duncan for having you know blessed or bestowed them both in the past and very recently with such great titles here she is referring to the titles given by duncan to macbeth now to this duncan now asks that i cannot see macbeth anywhere where is the thane of cawdor gone the thane of cawdor here being a reference to macbeth so he says that macbeth had actually taken leave from me and my men and he told that he wanted to go ahead of me so that he could ride well reach quickly to his own house so that he could prepare for my grand welcome and to this he adds another information that fair and noble hostess we are your guest for tonight that i'm going to be your guest we me and my men are going to be your guest for tonight to this lady macbeth says that not just your servants but you and us everyone we are all indebted to you and we always want to serve you be ready to be trusted by you so if you think you want to stay here whatever is ours is also yours because all this favor this house and everything that we have today is all because of you all the honors the goodness that you have always you know conferred upon your men that is why you know we are all here safely so you don't have to feel you know worried you are more than welcome to be staying over here to this king duncan says give me your hand conduct me to mine host so he is asking for the hand of lady macbeth so that together they will go and meet the host for tonight that is macbeth and he says that i love him highly and shall continue our graces towards him that is i'm going to continue to confer such beautiful honors deserving honors to macbeth not just now but also in the future and then he says with your permission let us now go to where macbeth is and with this the scene ends 
the important theme that comes out in act 1 scene 6 is deception and appearance versus reality by deception i mean to hide the true identity the reality of things now we see lady well- macbeth she is grandly welcoming king duncan as if she's so happy and you know she's very much privileged and honored to have king duncan in her you know castle which is true but she's got hidden intentions behind it now this also outlines or foreshadows pre announces the larger theme of deception and idea that things are not always as they seem you will see this gradually as we read the play together and throughout the play we see the characters who will often mask their true intentions identities and which will lead to a lot of misunderstanding and tragic or sad consequences or endings in the play so that is one of the major themes which sets into motion from act 1 scene 6 So that's it from this video. I hope you liked it. Do hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel for more such future updates. Thank you for watching. Bye.